Hello everyone. In this high learning shorts, I am going to tell you about pseudo membranous colitis, right? Which is also known as antibiotic associated diarrhea, right? And it is most commonly associated with which antibiotic? It is cephalosporin. And which cephalosporin? Third generation cephalosporin. What will happen here? There will be increased colonization by the Clostridium difficile. So remember, this is the most common organism. But they are also associated with other organisms like Salmonella, Staphylococcal infection, Clostridium ischemic colitis. And in this pseudomembranous colitis, what happens? Toxin from all these things will be causing epithelial damage and ulceration. And that will, because of the epithelial damage, there are smaller blood vessels. So they are going to release fibrin. So fibrin along with inflammation, they are going to form fibrinous exudates. And these fibrinous exudates along with the inflammatory cells, as I said, they are containing, they are going to form a pseudo membrane because this is not the membrane. This is the mixture of the inflammatory cell and the fibrin, right? So that is why it is called as pseudo membrane. It is not true membrane, right? Because of the fibrinous exudate is forming the layer. In this, what we are going to see, on gross examination, you are going to see the yellowish green exudates which is covering the mucosa and mucosa can be hyperemic also, right? It can be hyperemic also as you can see here. There is a hyperemic mucosa, they are little reddish or you know fiery red like appearance and they are covered by the yellow green exudates. Now you can see all these are yellow green exudates, right? Yellow green exudates covering the red color hyperemic mucosa, right? So that is the pseudomembranous colitis. Take the biopsy from here or take the specimen out and you will find there are ulceration and fibrinous exudate along with inflammation. So you can see this is the area. You can notice there is a there is a fibrinous exudate which is coming like, like a volcano-like eruption. Can you see this is looking like a volcano-like eruption. So we will be describing this as a volcano pattern of fibrinous exudate. So you can see this is the um, you know uh, mucosal aspect and the epithelial cells and you can notice this is the layer which we call as a pseudo membrane which is consisting of ulceration, fibrinous exudate and inflammation. So all these things are forming pseudo membrane. So this is the pseudo membranous colitis where you are going to see volcano pattern of fibrinous exudate so this is the volcano pattern of the fibrinous exudate from the ulceration there is a ulceration volcano pattern right so enjoy learning best wishes for your exam